Hi, I'm Penny Prester and I'm a subject librarian. Today I will be covering some quick tips for database searching. Library databases are great tools for doing research on a given topic. Some database platforms the library subscribes to include Informit, EBSCO, ProQuest and Ovid. Library databases include high quality sources and are equipped with numerous features that aid the user in finding information. You may be familiar with using search engines that retrieve results with algorithms that combine things such as the popularity and relevance of a link. Databases, however, retrieve relevant results based on specific keywords or subject terms used. To search databases effectively, you will need to determine the best combination of words and phrases. Here are some tips to make your database searches more effective. Tip number one, try using the advanced search. The advanced search is recognisable by having more than one search box. Don't be fooled into thinking a basic search with a single box will function in the same way Google does. The advanced database search is actually far more powerful at retrieving useful results. Tip number two, use the Boolean operators and, or, to combine your keywords into a single search. Boolean operators are used by databases to connect your keywords together and allow you to broaden or narrow your search. Using AND between terms ensures all search terms are present in your results, for example binge drinking and teenagers. OR allows you to search two or more similar terms together to find results in which any one of the terms appear, for example teenagers OR, adolescents or youth. Use these Boolean operators to combine your keywords into a search strategy. For example, binge drinking and teenagers or adolescents or youth. Tip number three, look at the subject terms in a database to assist you in finding the best search terms. Subject terms are listed with the abstract in the database record and may look something like this. Remember, finding the best terms to use is not an exact science. Trial and error will often uncover the right terms, or you can search for a subject term in a database thesaurus. Tip number four, use quotation marks around phrases and compound terms. This ensures databases don't split the terms and look for them separately. Tip number five, use the truncation operator. Truncation is commonly used in library databases. The truncation operator is an asterisk and when applied to the root of a word, retrieves all other endings for that word. For example, teen asterisk finds teen, teens, teenage, teenagers. Tip number six, use limiters to narrow a search that is too broad. You can limit your results by selecting a field to search in or by specifying peer reviewed. In addition to pre-limiting a search, limiters are often listed to the side of the results screen, such as these here, where you can limit by source type, publication year, and so on. Tip number seven, utilize check for full text. The check for full text function determines whether full text is available via any one of the library's subscribed platforms. Look for the check for full text icon in your search results. Tip number eight, look for the cite feature. A cite feature will save you time creating a reference list. Once you find an article you want to use in your assignment, you can save, print, email or export. But don't forget you need to be able to reference the article. Many databases have a shortcut that allows you to select the citation style you want, then it creates the reference you would put in your reference list. That concludes my quick tips for database searching. If you need some expert advice on using databases effectively, don't hesitate to contact a librarian.